Hi, this is MT from Let's Talk Creative 101. Um, sorry for any background noise. I have the like um, the window open and my neighbors are out playing in the backyard. It's not like I have a close super close to there, so it's not like they can hear me or anything. I'm still talking a bit quieter because I don't know. I just feel awkward with my neighbors being like, "Oh, you hear that girl over there? She, she's making period videos. Isn't that weird?" Anyways, I'm doing a review and observance test on the Cuba Cotex Security Super Pass. Now I don't have this one. I'll explain why in a minute, but this one does not have a wrapper. But the wrapper, I'll just show you, because I have another one somewhere, is extremely loud. So that's definitely a downside. But also the wrapper opens really easily, which is why this doesn't have a wrapper. I open up my dance bag, as you'll see in my period kids video, and this tampon was just sitting there on the top of the bag. It's like the, um... Um, and the wrapper was basically all the way off. It was, like, entirely ripped open. I haven't even, like, used that bag recently. It was just from having it in the bag and having the bag bouncing around, so. I don't suggest these if you're going to be having it in a bag where you're going to be walking around on a lot. Sorry, I have this on Zoom, so it's a lot more difficult. The tampon itself has a, it's really soft and flexible. And the plunger is really wide, which I'm not a big fan of because it comes apart really easily, like... If you're trying to like, and, you've, and if you're trying to put it in really quick, and you have to swap it really quick, because you know you have to go somewhere, this actually can come out, as you see, which I don't think works well. So I'm just gonna like that. Let's put this back in. Sure, it'd be helpful, I guess, if you're doing a non-applicator tampon, because you would just keep this applicator. It has to be unused, though. You could just keep like an unused applicator for that. But I don't find this helpful at all. The tampon always falls out too. So that's something I'm not doing. I don't like the tip. Like, look at how jacked up that tip is. It's just, it's really fuzzy and it's got fuzzy sticking out and it's really far apart as you can see. Also, it does not have a good grip. Actually, and my neighbor's heat, my neighbor's air conditioning unit just came on, so that probably adds even more background noise. Anyways, but it doesn't actually have a grip. It just has this ridge right here to keep your fingers from sliding off it entirely, but it doesn't actually work that well since the depth of, um, since the applicator is so flexible, it's also really slippery though, as you can probably see, it's pretty slippery. Oh crap, it broke again. Give it up. Cover my face. But do you see what I mean here? It's just not working, really. There we go. So that's definitely what I don't like. But I don't like the bulk of this. I've used other super... Darn it, and see, now that you do it, the tampon actually falls back in the applicator. There. And see, I also don't like the bulk of this. I've used other Super Plus tampons, and not all of them have to be this big. Seriously. Anyways, after the observance test, I have some dye. It, has, it looks black, but it's actually like a reddish color. I gotta get this off because it's gonna stain my finger. And I have about 3 milliliters of it. I have that for another project I was doing. That's the reason that it was so dark, because I was supposed to try to make it look like actual blood. It was for another project. Though. And I have about 30 milliliters of that. So, the yeah, about itself is, it does not have a good string. The string can, let me just show you in a moment. A, it's really stretchy. And, nope, there we go. It's really stretchy. But if I stretch it, you can see, let me show you now. Right there. I don't know if you can see it, but you can kind of see it's a bit of a weird shape in that right between my fingers, like closer to this finger. That is the string. I'm not going to take it out because I still have to do the absurdity test. But the string is actually wrapped around this in such a way that if that it is only wrapped around. If I really wanted to, I could unravel this string right now because the string isn't even sewn in. It is literally just wrapped around the tampon. So no, thank you. Anyways. It actually doesn't even absorb that much for its bulk, so I don't like these tampons very much. I'm going to put this in. Oh wow, it looks black. Absorbs and it looks like poop. It is not though. The camera makes it look extremely weird. Oh wow, actually. That just absorbed about 30 milliliters of water, and even then it's not all the way to absorbency. So, actually I take that back, it does absorb a good amount for how bulky it is, which is good, because I don't want to use it if it doesn't absorb very well. Okay, now I'm going to get food cleaning on the floor. Oh, 
up and now it's actually soaking in but there you go there's the tampon when it's done it comes out in a pretty weird way because I don't like how bulky it is when it comes out it's not like it's uncomfortable it actually is but it's definitely bulky the string comes off easily now let me show you how the string you're getting a bunch of lovely views of my ceiling today now it's like time to put it in front of the camera. So let me show you. Alrighty. I'm pulling at the string right now, just to let you know. Do you see that? It's squeezing. Because this is the string. Watch. Boom. Gone. Like that. Here's the string. Here's the tampon. And there's actually a gigantic hole in the middle of the tampon. Well, not in the middle. In the tampon, the way the string usually is just half. Nah, never mind, I'm not supposed to say that. Just kind of threaded through with like not much effort. So, there you have it. That is my review and absorbency test of Ubay Cotex Click Security. I mean, it's not Ubay Cotex Click, Ubay Cotex Security Super Plus. Do not, rec I do not eh, recommend these tampons. So, bye! Ah, bye! Comment, like, and subscribe!